Hello, my name is Bruno Ibarra and I am 20 years old. At the moment, I am studying civil engineering. Hello, my name is Ramiro Acosta. I'm 21 years old and I'm a civil engineering student at UTN. The importance of sanitation uh, is erratic in the good sanitation help to avoid disease such as cholera, diarrhea, dysentery, hepatitis, A, typhoidea, and polio. Actually, millions of people around the world do not have decent access to sanitation to meet their basic issues and healthness. Lack of sanitation not only affects humans, it also causes serious damage in the environment because body... Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Lack of, lack of sanitation not only affects human, it also causes serious damage to the environment because body of the water are contaminated with undread wastewater. Now I'm talking about uh, the connection with the other SDGs. The lack of sanitation is connected with the SDG number six, clean waters and sanitation, whose full name is ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for health. And it's related to the target 6.2, uh, which they start uh, by 2030, achieve access to adequate and equitable sanitation and hygiene for health, and then open defecations. Okay, this presentation is divided in three parts. Uh, the first is analysis of the cause and consequence of the lack of sanitation in rural areas. Uh, comes the, the sanitation problems in numbers, cause of sanitation issues, and consequence. The second part is ash bone for rural, uh, excuse me, ash bones for rural domestic sewage treatment. It's called the description, components, installation, and use of water the the, of this treatment. The three parts is feasibility analyzing of an of an LG bones advantage and disadvantage. Advantage well, and disadvantage. Now I'm talking about the the impact of this work, this project. Uh, promote or encourage the use of alternative and sustainable methods uh, in what water treatment uh, which uh, which may have advantages to the current uh, now it uh, these are date on the lack of sanitation and in remote and rural areas. Uh, the fear date is more than 1.7 billion people still do not have access to basic sanitation service. Uh, the second date is the 6 million people do not have adequate sanitation facilities
around the world, there are uh, rural areas without access to basic sanitations, uh, where the population directs to open defecate or waters of bodies, uh, which in some cases uses uh, a daily supply. It's a daily supply, <clears throat> which generates uh, the size and thousands of deaths per year due to the use of contaminated water and poor sanitation practice. Uh, excuse me, the, that of the second point uh, is according to Instituto Nacional de Estadística y Censo of Argentina. Now, analyzing of the causes and consequences of the lack of sanitations. And first, the causes. Remoteness. Uh, around the world, there are millions of people, mainly in Africa, must walk several kilometers um, to the nearest water source, uh, which in some cases is, is not drinkable. Landlocked, landlocked are areas without access to to the sea or a significant uh, waters of bodies nearby to supply. Um, for example, in Central Africa and African countries, poor governance. It's a, a poor management of water resource. And finally, a poor economy. Uh, countries with uh, sanitation problems are often the poorest because uh, they cannot invest in in sanitation systems, in, in adequate sanitation systems. Uh, okay, the consequences of this problem are very varied. One reason is illness. According to a 2022 report by World Health Organization, poor sanitation is linked to transmission of the oral disease. Uh, the second consequence is the low quality of life. Poor sanitation reduces human well-being, social and economic development and pollution. Uh, according to a World Health Organization report about sanitation, globally approximately half of all wastewater is discharged partially treated or untreated directly in the rivers, lake, lakes, or the ocean. Uh, finally, safe risk. No high access to a safe and nearby location with sanitation facilities cause risk. Now, uh, algae pond is the solution that we have thought. It is an algae pond that will that will be responsible for the wastewater water treatment. The algae uh, absorb harmful nutrients into water and the water that come out is cleaner compared to the water, what water come in. Uh, the materials, the materials necessary to assign an algae pumps are PVC gels, uh, PVC flow waffles, inverted L shapes, like emitting the other plant grown lamps to increase efficiency, efficiency and outlet pipes uh, made of PVC.
respect to installation of algae bones uh, are installed outdoor to take advantage of sunlight. sunlight. During the setup period are cultivating local dominate uh, local dominate microorganisms and algae. Respect the use of the water uh, comes out the algae pond. The water coming out of the pond is not clean enough to drink. Um, it can be used in for cleaning or mainly in agricultural agricultural activities. Now I am going to comment the advantage of the system. One advantage is high temperature. This method is especially beneficial in hot areas, which often have a water stove. The high, highest ground rate for algae is up to 20 eggs degrees Celsius. Uh, other advantage is the short pipe extension. Algae ponds do now require large and complex piping resulting in metals, less complicated to install than a conventional one. Uh, and finally, zero water wastage. Is most important. This is most, in, excuse me, zero water wastage. Is most important. This method is very beneficial in relation to these aspects. Same is allow all the water be recovered. Okay, I'm mean, talk about the uh, disadvantages of these methods. First, uh, low temperatures. This method uh, cannot be used in extremely cold areas uh, because the low temperatures prevent the growth uh, of algae, prevent the correct growth algae. The highlight, the sunlight areas, the low, low sunlight areas um, are a problem because the algae uh, cannot make a photosynthesis. Uh, also, uh, to solve these problems, uh, can use uh, artificial lamps, but daylight or sunlight uh, always is better. And finally, a contextual characteristic. This method is it is signed in a typical um, a typical rural context. It's not in a desert or in extremely cold areas or mountains areas uh, due to the extreme conditions of temperatures, pressures, and other factors that prevent the correct uh, growth of algae. Now, finally, we talk about the conclusions of the algae ponds. Are a good option for some rural and remote areas. These methods uh, don't require a large methods of for creation or mine times. Water in agriculture is found are will be used for wastewater treatment so that the premise of remote and rural areas can have better sanitation condition, increase your quality of life and decrease the problems mentioned, mentioned previously. 
waters uh, can be reused, minimizing the waste and helping the environment. That's all. Thanks thank, for your thank attention. You. Thank you.